What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another 151 opening. Today we're opening up one of the Alexam boxes as well as a Zapdos box. Um, I originally wasn't planning on doing a video with these two boxes, but I, I for whatever reason, I got them like a week early. Uh, so I figured, you know what, that's worth celebrating, at least having a video for. So here's what the promos look like. We got a Zapdos and Electabuzz. So we do two Zapdos boxes and then one of the Alakazam boxes. And we'll give my thoughts about it. Um, you know, are they good products, etc. cetera. Uh, but we're gonna do that while opening up 12 packs. And I feel like the frame rate on the recording is a little low. Apologies if that is the case. Um, actually, let me just check one thing. All right, don't know what the problem is. Here we go, pack number one. So, um, just to get over real quick, uh, are these good products? I think they're fine. Um, nothing special, but I think kind of like their niche, their purpose is just to have, oh, is to have good pulls. <laughs> uh, this is the second starter alt art that we pulled. And actually we always pull stage one. Uh, we pulled an Ivysaur. Ooh, look at this, look at this pack. Uh, not the home runs, but uh, very loaded indeed. So, um, yeah, while I don't feel like the product is anything special, the pulls are. Let's take a look at you real quick. Wow, apologies that the frame rate is poor, but that looks really nice. You're definitely going into a penny sleeve. And I'm not sure how I feel about these full arts. My initial thought is, you know, it's a full art. They're nothing special, but everything is so hard to pull in this set. Maybe, maybe uh, it's a starter, so maybe it's still worth getting graded. Uh, but yeah, I feel like these, these products are just to be on the store shelves, you know, if you want to crack some packs, uh, just pick these up. Yeah, it comes with the, the promos, but they're nothing special. One thing I will say is that the Alexam, so it doesn't have like the, the jumbo card like in the background, and as a result, has a nice little form factor, uh, which I actually do appreciate, um, you know, if you kind of collect sealed products and over time it just takes up so much space. So the form factor I do like, although if that was really what you're optimizing for, you should be getting the bundles, I suppose. I imagine that is the like densest. Um, although ironically, I don't have any bundles. We got a Dragonite into a Moltres. The bird tease continues with these bird promo boxes. And um, yeah, shout out to all the patrons out there. I know people, uh, a few of them have been talking to me about how they, they opened, busted a bunch of products. And uh, yeah, the struggle is real for this set. And while, yeah, it feels bad, I'm starting to appreciate that more and more. Um, I feel like this set could age, not the same, but like in a similar, for similar reasons as like Evolving Skies. So like Evolving Skies, well, I mean, now it's old enough where that should go up, but like the product was never cheap. Oh, that opened up weird. Because like the, the cards were so good, they were so hard to pull that there's a lot of value. Like the the lottery ticket is like, if you win, it's like a thousand dollar card. And maybe that's how this will pan out too with some of those alt arts. Uh, I will say that, well, I don't look too closely. When I did take a peek at TCG Player, like the Charizard went up in price where I feel like typically as the set gets a week old, two weeks old, a month old, the, oh, all right, hit ratio there. Once again, uh, this pack, it's a hit pack, but nothing too crazy. What was I saying? Um, yeah, where the, the cards continue to raise in value, even the ones that are you know, if I had to guess, I was I would never pay attention to them. I'd just be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll pull this eventually. And if I don't to fill the binder collection, I'll just pick it up on TCG Player for like five bucks or something. But a lot of the cards, they still hold a good amount of value, way more than I would have expected. And I wonder if that's just attributed to how difficult it is to um, pull these cards. Right, I'm calling it. We're, we're pulling the Alt Art Venusaur. We got two variants right here. Of course, we don't have the most difficult one, but this is a Venusaur opening. So yeah, if you are, if you do bust open product, best of luck and just don't get too discouraged. This is just a hard set, but I think that's why, that's why we're drawn to it, right? 
Well, that's why we're going to be continue to be drawn to it. Wow, we pulled a lot of Erica's Invitation. I think this has got to be the third one for the channel. Um, I might have pulled one off camera. No alt arts though. All right, so this is a very solid opening. We have 12 packs all together. And, you know, we're only one hit away from that 50% ratio. I feel like this border is slightly thicker. So we're going to put it in a perfect fit. If you are a patron and interested in any of these products, again, I don't feel like they're anything too crazy. The promos are anything crazy, but if you are interested in a break, just let me know. We'll work something out. All right, I don't want to harp too much on like negativity. <laughs> I do want to say a little bit more about the uh, the Van Gogh thing, and you know, full this like I, I I didn't get anything, so I'm obviously salty about it, incredibly so. Uh, however, I did have like a last ditch effort where I actually know someone that lives in the Netherlands and it's going to make a trip out. Uh, so I was like, all right, you know, I have a safety net. I'm not sure if safety net is the right word, but you know, someone I know nice enough that will send me a promo. Um, but as of like an hour of filming, there was like a Twitter post or something where they still, you'll still get your free one if you go to the museum and you participate in the activities. Uh, but like basically all the merchandise is gone. And I think the the thing that just bugs me, and I, I'm curious how that all was planned. It's just like, I am surprised that anyone is, if anyone is surprised that this happened, uh, it feels so foreseeable. And I'm just wondering if people like, people in whatever organization, company that, that organize these things like, yeah, this is probably going to happen, but you know, maybe that for whatever reason they can't do anything about it. But I feel like it would have been so easy, even like the online thing. Although that's always going to be a fiasco with bots and stuff. But at the museum, it's just like, yeah, limit one thing, one one per I guess per person, and I don't. Know, maybe that has other consequences with people not following the rules. Uh, but it just feels so avoidable. And, you know, this is like a situation where this is why we can't have nice things or, you know, letting people left out. And I feel like if you're the organizer, you're the Pokemon company, it's like, you don't, do you want to see like the crazy scalping where, you know, a free promo is going for like 300 or hundreds of dollars? Like, I'm not sure what it is that they want to have happen, but like if they do want it to be more available like everyone ideally gets one uh, i feel like they could have made very simple strides to get closer to that and you know i have no idea how they determine how much stuff gets printed but i feel strongly that if if there was like i'm trying to think oh let's take like the charizard upc um uh, i'm not sure what everyone has a different definition of success but in my ooh, we got all the little birds. But I feel like that one was a great success in that it's still available. And I think you can buy it on eBay for less than MSRP still. But it's just such a solid product. The alt, the promos are amazing. Uh, and I feel like that's like a perfect implementation. Just keep printing it. And maybe some people don't like that. But I think that's perfect for like a modern product. And I think this is one thing. Uh, maybe they made all they could, but if they could have made triple, it still might be sold out. <laughs> but in combined with some kind of reasonable thing where you can only pick up so many, um, I feel like we'd be in a probably better state. Who knows? Maybe we'd still be in the same boat, but I don't know. I just, I'm surprised if anyone is surprised that things played out the way they did. And of course, I'm very very salty because I have nothing to, to show for those things. Uh, although I, I think I'll probably get one promo, which I'll be happy with. All right. So this kind of end up being a complaint fest, which I don't like. Uh, very solid opening. We did get a starter alt art. We only getting stage one. So I would prefer the basic or stage two, but we'll take it. We got a nice uh, full art supporter, very solid hit ratio. Um, so yeah, maybe these products are good. I kind of <laughs> would never buy based on like some YouTube video. But uh, here we go. Last pack. I knew it. 
Oh my gosh, wow, what a great opening. I'm so glad I decided to do this video. You know, it's like, I wasn't planning on it, but uh, it's like, you know, we got this stuff early, might as well. And wow, what a six, wow, what a pack, holy moly. All right, guys, um, yeah, I just wanna say thanks for, uh, like I got the UPC early too, and I think that video did like the best of, I don't know, most of my videos throughout the, this channel. Uh, so appreciate the support on that, although I think it's just because I got the product early. Uh, but if you didn't, I recommend you check it out. And the UPC, very solid product. Love the way they implemented that and kind of like the Charizard. I hope they just keep making it so, you know, it won't, it'll be years before this thing is selling for double the price. And I think that's just, uh, I sounds like a win-win-win for me, in my opinion. So very nice centering. We did get the Venusaur. All right, this is a <laughs> this is by far the strongest opening uh, for 151 to date. And wow, what a hit ratio! Two alt arts. Oh boy, this this could this could spell trouble. <laughs> Maybe there's going to be more 151 openings of these products uh, until I get to completely hosed. Uh, but yeah, if you're a patron, you do want are interested, let me know. But yeah, I think that's all we have today great opening finally got a stage two alt art now we're gonna hunt for the charizard obviously but then some of those basics because i think they're really cute so thanks for watching i'm Wanna turtle i'll catch y'all next time peace